Hi everyone! It's nice to be back. <laughs> um, it's been a while. So as I've mentioned earlier, I said that um, I will be making a testimony. So basically, I will be sharing with you something that I feel um, important that happened to me during this Ramadan. So most of my friends and family knows that I've been away from my Facebook account for a month. And something that kind of surprising maybe for them because they know me for um, sharing most of my daily life on Facebook. I love sharing stuff like um, positive thoughts that I think will uplift my spirit as well as whoever would see it and I also love cracking jokes to make people smile at least something like basically positive so I can say that Facebook is part of my daily life and why did I deactivate it my account so yeah i deactivated this facebook account for a month and it started a day before the ramadan started i did not intend it was a pure coincidence the reason why i deactivated my account was because I was feeling so anxious it was like um, I came to realize that I don't want to see anything negative anymore <laughs> you know because for the past three months I know it's not just me you know most of us having these difficulties because of this pandemic COVID-19 so when it started I also I also started sharing stuff regarding uh, COVID-19 and uh, like for example news live streaming I will share it on my wall um, precautionary measures like everything then one day I was scrolling my my own wall my own account and as I scroll I was basically came to a point that I don't want to see it I don't want to look at it because all are negative, all are like bad news. I don't feel happy seeing or reading anything from my wall. So what I did, first I tried to change it. I accepted some um, challenges. I accepted fan quest and shared it on my wall posted a lot of different stuff throwback photos just to make it different but it doesn't make any changes for me it, I would scroll on my wall I would see kind of positive and then I would scroll on my newsfeed and I would see 99.9% bad news so I was not happy I was not happy seeing or scrolling down on Facebook that's why I decided to deactivate deactivate my account 
So what I did after deactivating my account, I went to my Smule account, my other, I was not totally away from social media account. I only deactivated my Facebook account because that's, I felt like the most, um, kind of, um, depressing part of social media <laughs> because there are really a lot of bad news and so I went to my swim account to sing and because singing uplift my spirit made me happy but I couldn't do it as, as often as I want to because it's Ramadan so Ramadan is kind of um, It's like it, it's inappropriate to do stuff like that or singing while I am with Muslim family they are fasting so it's kind of I believe it's disrespectful to do that so I've been also in uh, Facebook sorry I've been also in um, my Instagram account I would check once in a while because I felt like Mm, it's different from Facebook in a way that it has much less bad news there if that makes sense but most of my free time I spent it watching uh, YouTube videos so one day I came across a um, reaction video of mother and son the mother was Christian and the son was mm, reverted to Islam. So they were reacting to a um, Quran recitations. So while watching their reactions, of course I would hear the Quran recitations that they were acting to. And listening to that, gave me warm feelings but it's uh, i don't know how to explain but that's the most i feel like that's the most appropriate word to express it so after watching the video it's kind of maybe more or less 30 minutes video I randomly put my comment um, telling my feelings toward the towards the video and then people would reply to my comment so basically it's uh, they were indirectly um, saying or telling me to or encouraging me to um, dig deeper into Islam so they would send or put links about Islam and I opened some of those I checked and honestly I went farther and checked more and more and more so I did it for maybe a week almost every day I would listen about half an hour to one hour to something about Islam about Ramadan about their beliefs so yeah that's how it goes from there and every time I would finish one stuff or one video I would put my comment and of course people again and again would reply to my comment in my comment I would just 
my feelings toward the video while I was watching, how do I feel, what are my thoughts. And of course, I would mention that I am Christian or I am Catholic. And then one day in one of my comments, there was one reply there, a lot of replies, but there was one reply there that gave me so much impact that I actually cried after that. You know what is it? It was just a sentence. It says, Jesus said, I am the only way to God. Those words hit me direct here. I was in tears after that. I don't know but it hit me in a very hard way that maybe you can tell like I was dreaming and then someone banged me or hit me very hard and woke me up that's how it was. Imagine I've been trying to walk away from social media because I don't want negative thoughts. So basically, I was trying to escape from the reality of life. If that makes sense because I was I felt like I was so tired already seeing all the bad news and then suddenly one message came across and wake me up It made me um, question myself. What am I doing? Why I am here? I mean, I know my fundamentals as a Catholic. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in Catholic Church. I have my faith. And I am a strong believer of power of prayer. Why? I'm getting lost why I'm trying to escape why I am very weak it was so hard all of those questions came to me after reading the message and then pictures started to unfold behind my head pictures of my past experiences those unforgettable scenarios in my life 
where I already know that from them God never leaves me. I've been through a lot in life. I mean a lot. Those people who knows me personally, they could tell what I've been through. And in every situation that I've been through, God never leaves me. So why during this time of pandemic COVID-19, I wanted to escape. At some point, I felt ashamed as a Catholic, ashamed of myself. I wouldn't be running away. I should not be running away. Because I know God is with me. I've seen his presence so many times in my life. And aside from that, realizing that I was checking something about other religion I'm not saying that it's wrong I'm not saying that it's wrong to check about something that is maybe out of the box but checking other religion while I am not fully aware about my own religion when I say I'm not fully aware I I mean like you know I've mentioned also this earlier that I will discuss about hmm, describing myself so I mean I am not fully aware in a sense that I am like I just know basics I'm not so religious to the point that I know every single verse of the Bible I know I've read verses but I would never ever remember any one of those I'm not proud saying that but I am being honest so I am maybe you can say a cafeteria catholic when you say cafeteria catholic is someone like on a basic basic very basic one which knows the fundamentals of catholic of being catholic believing in god having the faith understanding that you have to work for it but 
digging deeper is another stage. Digging deeper into my religion is another stage. And from the time I realized that I was awakened by that single message, very strong message, I started to dig deeper on my religion. I might uh, put a link of one of the videos that I checked regarding Catholicism so you can also learn more I mean if you want to but doing that by doing that I mean by checking digging deeper about my religion made me realize how Ramadan 2020 led me into the road of being a much stronger Catholic. So now I could say, if I was a cafeteria Catholic, now I am looking forward to becoming a traditional Catholic which is someone that, that knows the fundamentals of being Catholic, practices it, or willing to practice it, and more enthusiast to dig deeper as a Catholic. This is why I'm back, because after that realization, after that strong message, I felt like I am more stronger. So what I'm trying to say is that even we are facing a very difficult time, we should never run away. Everything happens for a reason, and I do believe that all these things are happening according to the plans of God. So if you also believe that God is present in your life then you must trust God and never escape don't ever run away I hope this video this testimony can make a positive impact to anyone's watching and yeah this is my story of Ramadan 2020 and before the end of this video I want to extend my greetings to all my Muslim friends out there and to all our Muslim brothers and sisters I am Catholic but I do respect Islam Aid Mubarak everyone thanks for watching